here's the Deltic secrets. This is far better in many ways than actually going inside the loco because we've got a slice through the power unit of why the Deltic is so special and why it's able to revolutionize rail travel in a way that the diesel locos that have been built in the late 50s couldn't. Now we've already said that it's called the Deltic engine because the shape resembles the Greek letter delta in that triangle. But why does it do that? Why is it triangle shaped? Well, the secret to the Deltic is here, here, and here. This engine has what are called opposed pistons. Now, on a normal diesel engine, a four-stroke diesel engine, or even a two-stroke diesel engine, you expect a cylinder head that's flat and takes the space there. And that's usually a very heavy casting because it has to withstand the explosion and the power stroke of diesel combustion within the power unit itself. But by making the pistons oppose each other, and this is a practice that had been applied by people like Brush with other stationary power systems, you end up with the explosion for ignition takes place here, but because you've got two pistons, the explosion forces both pistons apart and does away with the need for a heavy cast cylinder head. So that actually means that we can make a diesel engine here, or Napier could make the diesel engine here, that is up to half the size and one fifth of the weight of a conventional diesel power unit. It's got these crankshafts at each end, and those are the pieces that bear the cast name that you can see, Napier Deltic. So there's no real great heavy castings in it like you would have in a conventional diesel locomotive. So this is fast revving, it's high power, high torque, and lightweight. But these engines aren't made initially for the rail system, the rail industry. They're made from Royal Navy gunboats, patrol boats, and minesweepers. And that technology is transferred and applied to the rail network. It's not without trial, because if you think about it, you're putting something from a naval use where the engine is there at constant high power, high output on something that's reasonably smooth, water, that gets a bit choppy, but then you put it into an environment where it's having to slow down, decelerate, accelerate hard, and have rail joints to contend with. So yeah, there were teething troubles and traveling fitters had to go out with the Deltics when they first were in operation. But by and large, once those teething troubles are through, this is the heart of what makes the Deltic special and enables it to turn in those magnificent performances and revolutionize East Coast mainline rail travel.